Hey, I'm Mike, and today, vegan pregnancies. Are they safe? How do they compare to non-vegan pregnancies in terms of risk? We're gonna look at all of that, the conclusions of experts, and we're even gonna talk to a healthcare professional today. From the experience of the vegan parents that I have spoken to, it seems that the normal level of shaming and concern about nutrients and just general fear mongering that comes with a normal vegan diet is amplified tenfold if you are having a baby. It seems to be like a gauntlet of questions like what about that one baby in Italy that starved on a vegan diet and a general air of you're probably harming your baby by being vegan. Many of them probably mean well, many of them don't, and all of them certainly have the idea that we require animal products drilled into their brain. I have a whole video on that, but the question here is, is their concern warranted? Now, I often touch on the position on vegetarian diets by the world's largest organization of nutritional professionals, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, but there's one statement in particular there that gives us a pretty clear answer here. In addition to their general statement that appropriately planned vegan diets are healthful, nutritionally adequate, and may provide health benefits for the prevention and treatment of certain diseases, they also mention that they are appropriate for all stages of life, including pregnancy, lactation, infancy, childhood, adolescence, etc. And in case the official statement of the world's largest nutrition organization isn't enough for you, could we maybe look around for any systematic reviews of the literature? Oh, coincidentally, here's one. This review looked at over a couple hundred studies and concluded that vegan pregnancies did not have an increased risk of complications, which goes directly against what everybody is saying to these vegan parents and definitely flies in the face of what Aunt Mildred thinks about vegan children. Oh, excuse me, did somebody say vegan babies? Well, I heard that most vegan babies are born without brains, and if they come out at all, they tend to melt upon delivery. Be concerned. The authors went as far as to say that, quote, our study should reassure patients and doctors on the feasibility of vegan vegetarian diets in pregnancy, both as a personal choice and when indicated for the care or the prevention of specific diseases. Okay, let's quickly recap the largest organization of nutritional professionals and the largest study, the largest review on this topic, both say that vegan diets are safe for pregnancy. So let's go ahead and talk to a healthcare professional next. I had a quick chat with Dr. Miranda Graham of the Vegan Pregnancy and Parenting Facebook group, which has about 24,000 members. So let's see what she has to say. Hey Miranda, sorry I made you wear your lab coat. I just couldn't resist. Um, so we have a lot of vegan couples who get all this pressure from all of these relatives and various non-vegan people saying, you're risking your child's life by being a vegan and being pregnant. So what is your response to that? Okay, I would tell them that being vegan while you're pregnant is perfectly safe and is actually healthier than when eating meat and dairy while you're pregnant. Uh, women who are um, either vegan or non-vegan need to both take precautions and they need to take a prenatal vitamin, which both would include B12, whether you're vegan or not. So they have to take B12 anyway, even though they're not vegan. Yeah, pretty much. Or they usually, they usually do. do. Crazy. So what are your thoughts on all of these vegan pregnancy scare stories that we see all the time where some vegan in Oklahoma or some somewhere in the world in Italy got sick? Well, you know, ne negligence occurs in vegans and non-vegans, and but there's only ever news stories about the vegans who are negligent. All right, so I wanna talk a little bit more about those pregnancy risks. So how does the risks of a vegan pregnancy versus a non-vegan pregnancy compare? How do they compare? Well, pregnant women who are vegan actually have a much lower risk of having diabetes in general, including gestational diabetes. They also have lower of a risk for having gestational hypertension and preeclampsia. So what exactly is preeclampsia for the viewers? Preeclampsia is when a woman has hyper, uh, high blood pressure and uh, when she's losing protein through the urine, which can uh, make it so that she um, actually gets eclampsia, which can be her having seizures during the pregnancy, which is very dangerous for her and the baby. So it's caused by high blood yeah, pressure? Yeah, it is caused by high blood pressure. And I, I just want to note that population studies show that vegans on average have 75% lower risk of high blood pressure. So that is huge. Yeah, that is. They also tend to have less complications such as perinatal hypoxia, which I've seen a lot working in the hospital in women who are overweight. So that's not enough oxygen for the baby. Right, that's when they get uh, their blood flow uh, gets reduced in the brain, which can cause permanent brain damage in the baby later. 
wow. And then of course, vegans average at normal BMI. Here I go again. That puts you by definition at a way lower risk of that. So that's huge. What about the clogged arteries? Do you see anything clogged artery related? Yeah, so actually uh, they have seen that women who have high levels of LDL in the blood have actually had, um, in their fetuses, they've actually had fatty streaks in the aorta. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then if, I just have to add on there, vegan population studies show that the LDL level is way lower. The bad cholesterol that you're talking about is way lower. So do you have any final points, final takeaways for vegan parents to have a safe pregnancy? Yeah, I want you to keep in mind that it can be perfectly safe, but that you should keep some things in mind, such as taking B12 supplements, DHA, and preformed DHA, and also vitamin D. What about folate? Whenever I think about pregnancy, I think about women taking folate. So what is your response to, to the folate issue? So I would say that folate is very important. It's super, super important for the proper formation of the neural tube in the child. Uh, it's just that folic acid is not the same thing as folate and it is much better to get folate in the diet than to supplement your diet with folic acid. Beans and greens are filled with folate. Anyone on a whole food plant-based diet will be getting enough folate without having to worry too much about it. Very true. Whenever I check my chronometer, my folate is through the roof. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Miranda Graham, for coming on my show. Uh, I just want to mention for my viewers, she's about to launch a website called thepuredoctor.com. She's going to have good articles, great information, uh, especially for vegans who want to have children. So keep an eye out for that in the next few days. I'll probably link it below. All right, thank you, and I'll, I'll talk to you thank soon. Thank you for having me. But yes, it became pretty clear from talking to her that not only are vegan pregnancies safe, but that many non-vegan pregnancies pose a lot of risks that a vegan diet, and especially a whole food vegan diet, do not pose. Now, many times before I have mentioned this study, which highlights how virtually all three-year-olds in the US have fatty streaks on their aorta, the beginnings of atherosclerosis, clogged arteries. But as this study mentions, yes, we are now seeing arterial lesions in infants. Of the fetuses they looked at from non-smoking mothers, 20% had heart artery lesions. How is this even possible? It's like pretty soon we're gonna have sperm cells with atherosclerosis being like, <coughs> the egg is so far away. Of course, this is the point where I have to mention that a whole food vegan diet has been clinically shown to unclog arteries and reverse heart disease. That's this study right here by Dr. Esselstyn. That being said, I wanna mention an anecdote really quickly. I have a couple vegan friends who recently had a healthy vegan delivery for their baby, and doctors mentioned that their umbilical cord blood flow was very high, it was very unusually healthy. Presumably, this was not only from having those healthier artery walls that emit all that nitrogen oxide gas that keeps blood flowing really effectively, but also because their umbilical cord was not clogged from poor diet. Yes, as this study makes clear, umbilical atherosclerosis, artery disease, is real, and so is actually clogged placenta arteries as well. No, it never ceases to amaze me just how unhealthy people can be. But going back to the vegan couple I was talking about, despite how great their metrics were, they were met so often with shame when they told people that they were following a vegan diet that they eventually just stopped telling people they were, stopped telling the same people that were trying to usher them into the hospital cafeteria to eat some carcinogenic processed meats. So in the end, based off the conclusions of experts about how a vegan diet is safe for pregnancy and all of these other horrible things that non-vegan women are going through, it seems that we need to shift some of our concern away from these vegan women who are pregnant and toward the general population and their extremely unhealthy diet. That being said, in the same way that experts advise non-vegan women to take certain supplements, experts are also advising vegan women to take supplements such as B12 and DHA. So in conclusion, while vegan diets do not put you at an increased risk of complication during pregnancy, a whole food vegan diet is a great opportunity to reduce risk of things like preeclampsia and gestational diabetes and the risks that come with being overweight when pregnant. But on a positive note, I think with more and more healthy vegan pregnancies by the thousands as they're occurring, it's just gonna break down this false notion that these vegan pregnancies are dangerous and people are gonna start to realize that they're safe 
on a society-wide level. Until then, I will keep making videos like this one. Thank you so much. Feel free to like and subscribe. And thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. I can't believe we're almost at $1,000. I'd never thought that that would ever happen. So thank you so much for your generosity, and I will see you in the next video.